This right here is the two-piece Asian knife set from Wushdoff under their Gourmet line. It is essentially an entry-level knife line they've made to compete with Victorinox and a couple of other brands like that. Pretty much all the high-end brands have been doing that. It includes the 3-inch straight pairing knife and the 7-inch hollow ground Santoku, which is essentially a Japanese-style chef's knife. I actually personally prefer Santoku knives to chef's knives, but it's a personal preference. So off the bat, let's discuss exactly what makes the Gourmet line the Gourmet line. These are the entry level lives, like I said, and they've done a few things to cut costs with it. Number one, they use just this one piece uh, polycarbonate handle that is then slipped over the tang of the knife. It does have a full tang on both of these knives, actually, which is very nice. And since they are stamped knives and not forged, they're essentially just cut out of a single piece of metal. So they are going to be a little bit flimsier. They're not going to have the same resiliency and strength that a forged knife would. But they are a 58 hardness, which is in the middle of the line in terms of the hardness of steels used for knives. Shuns and different high-end knives use about a 60 or 61, 62, sometimes even 63 hardness. And the Victorinox uses like a 55. So these guys are right in between at about 58, which means they're going to dull a little bit quicker than a Shun, but not as quick as a Victorinox and they are gonna be able to withstand a bit more abuse. So these are meant to be a little bit more of a home cook who just sort of cooks for fun type of knife. Aside from that, like I said, they have full tangs and they are actually cut to a 18 and a half degree angle on either side, which is actually a pretty thick angle compared to a lot of other knives nowadays. The Shuns do 16, Victorinox and Global do 15, and even the classic line by Wushdoff does roughly 14 degrees. So this is definitely a much uh, duller knife, I guess for lack of a better term. It's not sharp enough, for example, to shave the hairs off your hand. So that's just one thing to consider. Is it still going to cut well? Most definitely. But it's just something you want to consider when you're getting the knife. All of their Gourmet line comes with a lifetime warranty, which is phenomenal. I'll put a link down to this below. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, as always, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.